But this idea, this simplistic, nonsensical idea, the trade deficit, the fact that we import so much is bad for us, is wrong. Now, a lot of times, and this is what I want to talk about today, a lot of times that is associated with this notion that manufacturing in the United States is in decline. That manufacturing in the United States, we don't produce stuff. We don't make stuff. You heard this a lot on the campaign trail. We don't make stuff anymore. Manufacturing in the United States is in decline. We've exported all our manufacturing to the rest of the world, to China, Vietnam, Japan, Korea, Germany. And we don't make stuff anymore. Now, let's start with this just being factually wrong. We make more stuff today than ever. Much, much, much more than ever. Every year almost, our manufacturers produce more stuff than they ever did before. Just sheer output is greater than ever in American history of the stuff. Our revenues, the dollar value of the stuff we make in the United States is higher in manufacturing, I'm talking about, than ever before. And the profits are greater and exports are greater. Yeah, we import more, but we're exporting more today than we ever have before. Indeed, that goes down when we have a recession. And then imports go down as well because we have less money to spend and we buy less American stuff and we buy less foreign stuff. And if the recession is global, we export less. But when the economy is growing, like right now, it's not growing very fast, but it's growing. We produce more stuff than ever. We generate more revenue from that stuff. We generate more profits in that stuff than ever. And we generate more exports than ever. Now, I, I use the word we... But I'm talking about, well, not the royal we, the regular we, but I'm talking about U.S. manufacturers, U.S. manufacturers. Now, it's true that as a percent of the total economy, that is shrinking. But that's because we've seen a rapid growth in services, massive growth in services. You know when manufacturing peaked as a percentage of the total economy? In 1953. That's way before NAFTA. That's way before China. That's way before we were even importing from Japan. 1953 was after World War II. Pretty much everything in the world was being manufactured in the United States. And yet, that's when we peaked. And since then, as a percent of the total economy, manufacturing has been shrinking. Why? Because everything else has been growing faster. Because we become richer. And when you're rich... When you're rich, which is what America is basically, we're a rich country. We Even the poor in America are relatively rich as compared to the poor in some countries in the world, many countries in the world. When you're rich, it's not just about stuff. It's about services. It's about restaurants. Have you noticed how many restaurants there are in the U.S.? How many people in the United States work at restaurants or generally in the hospitality industry? And how every year there seem to be more. Why? Because we get richer all the time, which means we can afford to eat out more than we used to. A hundred years ago, nobody but the very wealthy ever went to a restaurant. There were very few restaurants because most people couldn't afford to go out to eat. Now, a lot of those restaurants today are fast food, but not all of them. There's a growing industry of all kinds of restaurants, middle, high-end explosion of restaurants out there. I mean, I just look at any strip mall anywhere in the United States. All kinds of stuff. Sushi is everywhere. You know how many jobs that creates? Massive quantity of jobs. And some of them are good paying. I'm sure the sushi chefs get paid pretty well. Some of them are lower paying. The waiters and so on probably get less, but that's okay. That's how jobs are created. Millions and millions and millions and millions of jobs. So, Services has exploded. Hotels. They never used to be hotels. I mean, I, I travel here now. Southern California is particularly wealthy, right? So you see nail salons everywhere. You see massage parlors. I'm, I mean, the legitimate ones everywhere. Because people get pampered today. Because we have the money and we have the time to get pampered. We couldn't afford to be pampered 50 years ago. We were working too hard. And we didn't have enough money to spend on stuff like that. But we do. It's, it's, it's everywhere. You, you, you just look at any strip mall. Look at all the variety of services 
that we can get today. We don't clean our own homes. We, we outsource that. At least in the middle class, many people, you know, outsource the cleaning of their homes. Yes, we've grown a massive service economy, but also, what is software? Software is service. Programming is service. Hundreds of thousands. No, why hundreds of thousands? Millions and millions of Americans make good money. I'm talking six figures, sometimes well into the six figures. Programming. Programming. Service job. Cisco. Cisco. Innovative company. It's a service company. Yeah, they they create some boxes, some stuff, but most of what they do is services, networking and stuff like that. IBM used to build computers. Now, mostly, it's a service company. But you know what? The jobs are really high paying. Finance, consulting, big businesses in America. People make good money at them. Explosive growth over the last 50 years since 1953. 60 years. Yeah, all of that has grown. Manufacturing has grown as well. Just grown slower than services. So as a percent of the total economy, it shrunk. But in terms of the size of manufacturing exploded much bigger today now people complain because they say the few are manufacturing jobs now that's true as well you know when employment peaked in in manufacturing in 1979 there were 19.4 million people working in manufacturing now notice even 19.4 million is not that large we have a population of over 300 million people in the united states so 19.4, that was the most ever that have worked in manufacturing. That's gone down since 1979. But notice, the 1979, when manufacturing employment peaked, was 14 years before and after, 22 years before China joined the World Trade Organization. 14 years before and after. You can't blame NAFTA for the reduction in employment in manufacturing. You can't blame China for that. That's ridiculous. Now, why did why why is why are we producing more stuff with fewer people, much more stuff, with a lot fewer people? Why is that? Because we're more efficient, because we're more productive, because we use technology, because we have robots and computers and all kinds of technology that reduces the need for people, but increases the amount of stuff we create and increases the quality and standard of living of all of us because the stuff is cheaper and the stuff is much better and we produce lots of it but we do it really efficiently we should celebrate efficiency not complain